Hey everyone, welcome back to the RP Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph. This is another Let's Try for a Home Behind 2. In Home Behind 2, we're gonna take the role of a revolutionary, a young woman named Bannon, and we're gonna try to get rid of the dictator of Scaria. Scaria. This ancient land has suffered 30 long years under Akadullah's brutal dictatorship. The opposition parties, progressives, intellectuals, and anyone who dared oppose him, all eventually yielded to his iron will. Everyone assumed that there would be no end to Akadullah's rule. However, as his oppression grew stronger and as countless demonstrations were violently quelled, the enthusiasm for a Scarian revolution deepened. Until one day, when an uprising exploded like wildfire. The revolutionaries have made their camp in eastern Scaria, the country's poorest region. Inspired by the revolutionaries, commoners, long oppressed, have taken up arms against Akadola. While they are disorganized, lack supplies, and are fighting with farm tools, kitchen knives, and relics of previous wars, they are convicted in their hopes for a better future. Despite countless setbacks, the revolutionaries have secured a front line. Akadola commands his army from his palace, a shining jewel situated deep in the wealthy western province. Thousands of his troops, supporters, and mercenaries recruited from allied nations around the world stand guard in his palace. They are well equipped and well trained. With these advantages, Akadola commands an endless onslaught against the revolutionaries. Perpetual war ravages Scaria, with no end in sight for this power struggle. Yet, on this day, an airplane makes its way through the skies of Scaria. Its destination? The revolutionary's eastern encampment. Navigating no-fly zones is a difficult task, and the pilot was forced to land along the western border, deep within the Scarian army's territory. A young college student stepped off the plane, full of determination to help overthrow Akadullah's regime. She, however, never expected to find herself in such a dilemma. No one could have ever imagined that the fate of Scaria and countless lives would rest upon this young woman's shoulders. Okay, so this is us, Bannon, a 25-year-old female. We have the nickname Sisterly Filt. I'm sure that we're going to keep that nickname. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. We can pick a hobby here. Let's see what could be useful. Dodge might be nice. Oh, we're gonna take more experience and more loot. You know me, I play RPGs for the loot. If there's something that gives me more loot, I'm taking it. Uh, stat points, we can increase or decrease. We can roll for talents, let's see. Is there always a negative one? Or do we have a chance of gaining only positive ones? <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered, more loot, there we go. We can uh, pick a number of classes here. Let's see. Oh, there is a there is a bunch. Some of them are not ready yet for uh, the taking. We can be a tribal warrior trained from a young age, more than willing to sacrifice their own blood for the cause they believe in. Best position as the tank. The weapon specialty is the shotgun. Armor specialty is heavy. What else do we got? We got special ops. Special ops soldier, rigorous training allows them to excel in a variety of combat skills. With enough experience, they can survive attacks from an entire team. 
Best Position DPS, Specialty Weapon the Assault Rifle and the Specialty Armor Medium. Then we got the Engineer, they excel at repairing gear, digging trenches and granting defense bonuses to their teammates. Best in a support position with a shotgun and heavy armor. We got the scouts, they're not suitable for direct combat, their main task is to mark vulnerable enemies to improve their teammates attacks. In a support position with an assault rifle and light armor. We've got the medic, they may not be the most skilled healers but their ability to quickly treat wounds offers a high grade of survivability for an entire team of fighters. Best in the healer position with a pistol and light armor, we've got the sniper. Slow, but perhaps the biggest threat on any battlefield. Their precise shots are enough to kill nearly any enemy in one attack. Wow. DPS position, sniper rifle and light armor, or we got the commando. A balanced fighter that serves as the backbone of many teams. Both damage and survivability are rather remarkable. A DPS tank with an assault rifle and medium armor. I'm leaning towards a special ops. Variety of combat skills and I think I'm gonna leave my stats the way they are and we're just gonna be focusing on looting the hell out of this game. Uh, we're gonna stay on normal difficulty. Exploring locations requires almost no energy. Revolutionary heritage 90%. And this is, we're unable to save manually, yeah, we're just gonna leave it standard. While Scaria's various industries and technologies are still developing, the country's rich oil resources have provided enough funds for Akadula's government to feed and clothe the general population. Akadula rules Scaria with an iron fist and has managed to maintain a false sense of peace and stability for quite some time. Full-scale civil war has broken out after calls for true democracy grew loud enough. Scaria's eastern regions have been occupied by the revolutionaries. Scaria is engulfed in division and conflict. And that's exactly where we are gonna dive into. This is us getting off the plane. We didn't land in eastern Scaria though. And wow, military is already shooting people. Oh yeah, they're... Oh wow, they're actually shooting them. Holy crap, what a welcoming committee. Yeah, if that doesn't uh, revolutionize you, I don't know what will, you know. Set stuff on fire. And I'm being grabbed... Into... A side exit here. After more than 20 years of heavy-handed rule by Akadula, the citizens of Scaria have finally had enough. Civil war officially broke out after a large group of peaceful demonstrators were massacred by Akadula's army. Forces who oppose Akadula and his government have joined the revolutionaries, setting up their own government in the eastern regions of Scaria. The revolutionaries are now engaged in fierce offense against the government after the Northern Republic pledged their resources and support. So the game is, at the time of this recording, still in early access, but it's releasing normally next week on the 16th of February. If you're interested in trying out this game, there's a link in the description as always. We'll be doing two episodes here, about half an hour each, so you can get a good feel of the game. In a desert, along Scaria's southwestern border. Wait, wait, I can't run any farther. Where are we? My makeshift camp. Apologies for the mess, Miss Pee Pants. Okay, so the first remark that I have is why on earth is the dialogue appearing letter per letter? Like, which gamer is going to just sit around waiting for the letters to appear one by one? Like, you can click again, so you have to, to click the mouse uh, to continue the conversation, but then you have to click a second time for the conversation to appear immediately. Not quite sure why I was decided to do it like this, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of clicking. 
Miss Pee Pants, I'm soaked because Akadula's army sprayed me with her water cannons. Can't say it was the best welcome I've ever received. You must not have heard about Akadula's new policy, as the Norto Republic has effectively declared their support for the revolutionaries, all passengers from Norto are to be placed under arrest immediately. Well, apparently they're being shot immediately. Damn it, I had no idea the situation in Scaria had deteriorated so quickly. Akadula has managed to prevent any information from escaping Scaria's borders. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to change out of these soaked clothes. If you don't mind, uh, all I have here are a few unwashed military pants. I don't mind. I have to say, Miss P Pants, these pants sure do make you look like a fugitive. Will you put a lid on your awful sense of humor for a moment? I'm not in the mood. My mother always told me I should have been a comedian. Still, I should thank you, you saved my life. Save your thanks, no philanthropist. I need a translator and a guide. It's damn near impossible to find decent Nortonans in Scaria these days. Might be better served by hiring a guide from a nearby village. Locals? I wouldn't depend on such uncivilized people for anything. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to turn over a citizen from the Norto Republic to Akadula for a hundred bucks. You're looking at a local? Keep your prejudices to yourself. I only went to the Norto Republic as a child for schooling. That explains why your Scarian is just as good as your English. Well, even if you're a local, at least you're highly educated and on the run, just like me. Suppose we should introduce ourselves. Please call me Bannon. Can't call you Miss Pee Pants? Okay, the joke has gotten old already, alright? Dude. You knock it off, I'm beginning to wish you didn't save me. <laughs> yeah. Bannon rather get shot than be called Miss Pee Pants three times. So you know what we're dealing with here. She's hardcore. Fine, so why would you choose to return to Scaria at a time like this? You know, there are far more efficient ways to kill yourself. For Scaria, take down a Kadula. He's the true enemy of all Scarian patriots. I began planning to return home as soon as I heard that the revolution was kicking off. I understand, so you're in the uh, revolutionary reserves? You could call it that. I'm just passionate, you? What on earth is a Nortonan doing here? Are you just looking for a fight? I'm here for travel. What a perfect destination. You can call me Prince, oh, of course, yeah. Prince, which fairy tale are you from? Fairy tale? This is more like a horror story, don't you think? Isolated, helpless, and alone in the desert, few supplies. Not to mention the army. I'm well aware of our predicament. What can we do? First move should be to locate a means of transportation. There's no way we'll make it across this desert on foot. In fact, I've noticed some tire tracks. My guess is that they were left by an older, heavier truck. Tire tracks, that's um, unexpectedly professional of you. Where did you learn how to do that? Uh, the Boy Scouts? Regardless, we should follow these tire tracks and catch up to the truck before it breaks down. Then all we need to do is persuade the owner to lend the truck to us. That isn't funny, Prince. I'm a revolutionary, not a bandit. Fine. Hopefully whoever is driving is fine with hitchhikers. In any case, catching up to the truck should be our first priority. You may not like my sense of humor, madam, but we're in this together. Let's team up. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Yeah, exactly. Wise decision. Come on. Time's of the essence. If we miss this chance, we'll end up spending the rest of our lives in this desert. That's the future I'd like to avoid. Yeah, I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you, who's calling me Miss Pee Pants. We aren't going to get very far without a way to defend ourselves. Uh, you know, whoever is driving that truck is sure to be armed. We've planned ahead. See that crate over there? There are two weapons inside of it that I purchased from a few hungry poachers. Can't say they're much better than a lead pipe. It's the best I could do in this damn desert. It'll be better than nothing. I've learned how to use these types of weapons before. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Pick your weapon, let's set out. 
Make sure not to shoot yourself or me. Well, right, well, keep making uh, jokes and I'll shoot you. Looking forward to this adventure, Miss uh, Bannon. You say that ridiculous nickname again. Yeah, like Miss Peepans is a completely ridiculous nickname. My real nickname is Sisterly Filt. Okay. <laughs> May accidentally shut your mouth forever, Prince. Okay, where is the crate that we can click on? Equip your teammates with weapons and gear before starting an expedition. Click on a fighter's avatar to view their details and configure their gear. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. We got a light shotgun and we got a light submachine gun. I think... Uh, let me see, is that mentioned somewhere? It doesn't... It doesn't show you the... Um, uh, what's it called? The profession of special ops. I thought it said assault rifle. Not 100% sure. So let's uh, give Bannon... Submachine gun. Mm-hmm. And let's give Prince the shotgun. There we go. Can we move them? Because I think it makes more sense to have the guy with the shotgun in front. I think. Not quite sure. Uh, let's start. Continue exploring. Yes, please. Light machine guns deal devastating damage at the expense of speed and accuracy. Is that us? Okay, look, the vehicle we're following makes rhombus-shaped tracks, don't forget. These are the tracks we're looking for, okay. So... We can run around. And we can pick up resources. So at the, bo at the top here, we have uh, daily cash production is zero. We have 93 dollars, whatever it is. We have 93 food, there is apparently also supplies daily production, so at some point I'm guessing we're gonna set up a base camp where we're gonna create ways to uh, provide us with supplies, maybe money, could put up uh, an oil well or something. <laughs> okay, so we have 9 uh, oil, 0 stone, 0 wood, 0 metal and 0 transistors. And no loot yet, okay. Okay, these are the tracks we're looking for, that is great. Can pick up some stones along the way, those were not, these are the, the right tracks, yep. And then we have... An oasis coming up, a beautiful oasis in the middle of a cruel desert. The area is a stunning shade of green, contrasted against the yellow expanse beyond. We have a 88% chance to collect drinking water, so how about we do that? That was a success. You don't have to click this as far as I can tell. Let's try and fish. Yeah, I think it does that automatically. And there are chances... Oh, you caught 4 kilograms of fish. Wow. Alright. Uh, how do I get out of this? Do you have to do that a couple of times? Ah, we just uh, click on the run uh, icon. An oasis! We're in luck today. Luck? We wouldn't be walking through this damn desert if we were in luck. Try and be positive, madam. Negative thinking won't get you anywhere in a situation like this. Tell you the truth, I'm curious. Akadula's cruelty is extended only to those in Scaria. What could he have done to you, a lifelong student in the Northern Republic, to earn your hatred? Don't tell me that you returned to your country just so you could say you went on a desert adventure. Are you going to blow smoke up my ass with some pathetic patriotism excuse? Kadula 
killed my entire family and annihilated my tribe. Is that good enough for you? That's all you need to know for now, and I'll piss off. Yeah, you're doing great, uh, Prince, in the uh, conversation department. Really, really professional here. Uh, forgive me. Just feel like I need to understand the people I'm working with if I'm going to trust them. Trust? If your father was betrayed by his best friend who then ruined your entire future, you wouldn't understand that trust. You would understand that trust is a luxury and a dangerous sentiment between people. Sorry, may have gotten carried away there. No, no, you speak the truth. If I had a pen and paper, I would write your words down for posterity's sake. Really do want to hear about your childhood. When you're uh, in a better mood, let's stay focused on the task at hand for now. Okay, we found some ambiguous tracks. It seems that many vehicles have stopped for a break at this oasis. You see two possible options of tracks to follow. With only one belonging to the heavy truck. Uh, which could they be? It's not gonna be the camel hoof print. Probably not the concealed wagon. I think it's gonna be the more deep and wide tracks. We're on the right path, let's keep going. These are not the correct ones though. Let's grab some more supplies. It would have been nice if you could just click on the map actually. Ah shit, an army scout has located our position. Let's review then. Proper shooting stance looks like. Watch out! Okay, so we're in battle now. You picked the wrong person to fight. It's a <laughs> daisy mercenary. Alright. So what are we supposed to do now? I'm guessing this is manual. Press space to continue. And I will just start shooting. Yes. Why are they shooting at the kneecaps or the feet? Or at least, at least Bannon is doing that. We've got a... S <laughs> We've got a snowstorm going on, I was gonna say. No, we, we have a sandstorm going on. We got some damaged armor. Okay. That is something. I must admit you're more skilled fighter than I thought you would be. Skill? I studied at the military college in North Republic for three years. I was ranked in the top five among my class for proficiency in light weapons. Education? Shm education. Real skill was uh, something before I clicked too fast. That's what you get with um, having to click uh, multiple times. You're right, firefight is a lot different than practicing at the shooting range. Because your target in battle actually moves? No, because my targets howl, scream and beg for mercy. Yet you did not hesitate to pull the trigger and begin to suspect this isn't your first time in battle. Foolish Norton and tourist would never understand the sins of Akadula committed against my family and the rest of Scaria. I'll understand more than you think. Hate changes everything, yet I can't help but think of these fighters' names, their loves, their friends. Can't help but imagine how their families feel when they hear of their deaths. But I know I have to pull the trigger, so I do. Curious about you, Prince, what compels you to pull the trigger? What quarrel do you have with these Scarians, stranger to you? My imagination is far less rich than yours, I fight for survival. Humans live by the rules of nature too. Survival of the fittest. If I don't kill them, they'll kill me. Showing kindness to the enemy brings cruelty upon yourself. I'm sure you'll learn this lesson for yourself one day. It's not a noble reason, but it's a solid one. I'll give you that. Okay, so it looks like... With... Ah, with supplies we can... Uh, get our health back in order, yep. And what does that mean? Does that mean... A l oh yeah! Means to level up. Okay, so where am I gonna put my points? Strength and agility seems to be indicated here. So how about we do that? Hey, 
And then for Chris, the same. Strength and agility. There we go. Is Chris also special ops? Oh, he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got two special ops people here. Nice. All right, let's uh, continue through this uh, wind. These are the tracks we're looking for. Yep, they are. Wind finally died down. Is that the same? I don't think so. Anyway, we're just running in the same direction anyway, so I, I'm not quite sure what um, what it matters if we click on the tracks or not. Uh, we're in a small desert. There's a guy here who is not too fond of revolutionaries, apparently. The hunter's leather jacket is ripped, his shotgun badly worn. His recent hunts must have been difficult. He seems to have made his mind up about the revolution and who's at fault. His eyebrows furrow as he sees you approach. It will be difficult to get any information out of him. Uh, let's... I think you need to suffer, really. I think the revolutionaries represent the will of the people. Mm -hmm. How about we try that? Yep, that seems to work. Hunter seems to have calmed down. Let's uh, ask if he knows us which way the truck went. Mm -hmm. A giant clunker? Yeah, it, it uh, had <laughs> went past here heading east. Oh, no kidding. That's like the only direction we can run in. That's very convenient. We could buy a heavy machine gun. Yeah, we don't really need that. Let's grab the wood and uh, let's continue on our merry way. I don't think we need f food right now. These are the tracks, yep. That is in fact correct. What do we got here? We got some transistors, we've got Shouldn't leave anything behind, no matter how small, okay? Let's take a look. Rapid braking, turning, some metal fragments, vehicle parts, and a lot of ammo casings. There was a battle here. Seems like we aren't the only people interested in tracking down the truck. That's right. Fortunately, these tracks are still very clear and the ammo casings are warm. I suspect we're extremely close to our target. Of course, I'd think it best if we use some supplies to restore our strength. We might need to persuade the owner of the vehicle, that in case he's not friendly. What you say makes sense, Prince, yet I have my doubts about you. All the tourists from the Northern Republic so confident in the battlefield? Based on the way you're speaking, it seems as if you find these sorts of situations to be normal. Actually... Just take a moment and think clearly before you make up another story. I can see through more of your lies than you might expect. So who are you? What the hell are you doing in Scaria? It was the last time I'm going to ask nicely. But they're go they're getting along fine. Is this how you treat your rescuer? By interrogating them? Fine. I understand you're consumed by doubt. You have at least a dozen questions for me. We have to track down this truck. Don't waste any more time. I promise, however, that I will tell you the whole truth once we sort out our little transportation problem. I hope you'll keep that promise. Okay, we don't have time to waste, so what we're gonna do is uh, go through this battle wreckage, because I'm a looter, you know me. We seem to be the first people to discover this still smoking wreckage. Must have been a ferocious battle here. Let's grab some supplies. There are, oh, 18 money. And a new rough weapon, a heavy machine gun. Cool. So we can actually, I assume, equip those, right? Um, what was I better with um, light weapons? I'm not quite sure. Doesn't really say it there. Although there, mm -hmm. there was armor. Was there not? We cannot use that. Okay. Okay. On to uh, ooh, grabbing uh, more stuff then. 
fierce fighting in the area has made the tracks hard to read. Which direction should we go? Well, east, duh. But let's inspect carefully anyway. That's a success. That was almost a critical success. <laughs> it's going to be east, yeah. Wow. I'm wondering if that makes any difference what you pick there. These are not the tracks we're looking for. Let's uh, grab that. These are the tracks we're looking for. There we go. Yellow clouds in the distance, another sandstorm. Great. That's what we need. That's what I need, more sand in my panties. Grab some rocks, some more stuff. We can pick up a good bunch of things. Give up, Haroon. That vehicle is nothing more than scrap. Okay. An army recon squadron. The army soldiers are completely focused on the enemies ahead of them. They're unaware of our approach. Sneaking up to a target will greatly increase the team's morale at the start of battle. We can even place explosives to greatly reduce their health from the start. Oh yeah, that looks great. The dynamite trap. Let's do that. Let's see how that goes. Start that battle. Doom! Oh yeah, that went great. Does that do something? Okay, let's run a bit closer to the other guy. We found our truck. Came just in time. Would have been shot to a pulp if you had come any later. Are you two some sort of husband and wife kick-ass mercenary team here to save me from the flames of death and dishonor? Husband and wife, yeah, that's unlikely. Mercenaries? You got it all wrong, we're the revolutionaries. More accurately, a lone revolutionary and an innocent tourist from the Northern Republic. Strange couple, but I owe you my thanks, nonetheless. Your truck here seems to be the talk of the Scarian Desert. Driving in these areas is sure to draw the attention of the army and bandits alike. It's my tribe's last treasure. I have to protect it, no matter the cost. The Kadula took everything else we had. Seems that we have a common enemy in Akadula. I'm Bannon, Iscarian. This is a Norton in here. His name is Prince, apparently. Please call me Haroon. I'm the eldest son of the once illustrious and honored Kassa tribe. In fact, the army has been hunting me for months. Been on the run for months in this damn desert. Kassan tribe, didn't you support Akadula during his ascension to the throne? How did you fall so far? While three tribes supported Akadula's conquest, only the Hamufa, his own tribe, reaped the rewards of his victory. The others were cast aside the moment uh, they stepped into the palace. Akadula ordered the immediate expulsion and execution of the Kassa and Tenare tribes. There's very few of them left, so much for honor. At least Akadula is predictable. He never leaves anyone alive that could threaten his power. You sure do know a lot of Skyrim history for a northern tourist. I uh, always read up about a country's history before visiting for the first time. You know, deep dive. You're from the Northern Republic? Based on that gun in your hand, I'd say you've gone a bit too far with your deep dive. How did you end up in the western wasteland of Skaria? Aren't the Kassa based in central Skaria? In the past, yes. Akadula hired hordes of raiders that slowly pushed us from our lands into these uh, desolate sands. Our home stands upon dunes as barren as our hopes. Even finding water has become a daily struggle. Living among the tribe grows more difficult by the day and we've lost countless elders to starvation and malnutrition. Those of us who survived and still have the strength to fight answer the call of the revolutionaries. We wish nothing more than to escort Akadula to his death. 
Yet my tribe's territory was so far from the revolutionary's base in the east, there was little we could do to stave off the army's attacks. All of our fighters have fled for their lives or were sacrificed where they stood. You're looking at the last warrior of the Casa tribe. Well, at least you've earned yourself an impressive title. But one filled with sorrow. I'm saddened by your struggles. And I'm saddened by the state of your truck. You got here from Central Scaria and that thing? Looks to be in poor condition. Can it still move? This beast? It's an advanced Ural truck, produced in the 80s. By the Boreal Federation. My father worked incredibly hard to get one from the Tribal Council. It's got a 240 horsepower V8 diesel engine, 5-speed manual transition, and 2-speed axle. It can handle up to 12 tons, my friend. Listen to the sound of its steel plates. Look at its bulletproof glass. Look closely and you'll notice that the cab, fuel tank and engine are all protected by reinforced armor. And she also comes equipped with the most advanced shock absorbers from the Boreal Federation, which offer a smooth ride on even the toughest terrains. I don't see anything you just described in the vehicle in front of me. Am I hallucinating? Her current state is an exception to the rule. I haven't been able to find the necessary materials for repairs. See these marks? Those were left by 12.7mm rounds from a heavy machine gun. I'd have met the old man in the sky a long time ago if this were a regular truck. She's been a faithful travel companion, except for the occasional brake failure. Should have seen her before the last ambush, damn the army. Well, the body, tires and engine all seem to be somewhat damaged. Uh, she won't be able to drive until we repair her. But we need transportation and we need it now. Remember, we're being tracked by the army as well. Here, take the keys, I owe you. You saved my life. We have a common enemy, a Kadula. There is nothing I can do to repair the truck. You may be able to fix her up if you have the right supplies. Check the crate next to the truck for a few supplies and oil. It isn't much, but it should get you started. I have no objections. Let's see where our hero is hurting. Okay, so we can um, ask who he is. The son of the Casa tribe. Yep, that's what he already told us. Akadula and his uh, Hamufa tribe have been encroaching on my tribe's territory. So these actually go very fast. I would love to, but only if you can repair my Ural. Uh, after all, we won't make it anywhere without her. Okay, let's uh, repair the truck. We can try to repair the truck freehand, but it takes a certain level of skill. Let's grab that stuff. Let's uh, repair it with some supplies, that should be doable. And we got a new teammate, Haroon. Welcome to the club, Haroon. Our mission is complete, we found the vehicle and rescued its owner, a man named Haroon from the Casa tribe, an encouraging victory. Perhaps we should return to camp, plan our next steps. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the second episode of this Let's Try. Put a cut in the video right here if you're enjoying this game pick it up or wishlist it thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next episode